Hi guys, guess what I'm going to make you? Some flap jack. I used to eat these when I was a little girl. They are delicious. First of all, I put an egg in there already, you know, kind of beat that a little bit. I'm going to put just a little meal, just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. Now, put a little flour in it. Put that in there. Put a little sour cream spoon, tablespoon of sour cream. Put that in there. Put a little oil, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. That's to make it nice and fluffy. Now, a little water. Remember, you don't need milk and all of that stuff. And the reason being is because you have the sour cream in here. Look at God. See? 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 Put that right there. Put the rest of the water in there. Doo -doo. Stir. Stir. See? <laughs> Girl, you know you can take them out the country. But you can't take the country. You know what I mean? See? Look how nice it is. Look at God. Stir it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at the consistency of it. See? I know it's good. Look at God. Put a little sugar in it. Shoot. Okay? Let's do it. Let's look at it. Oh, look at God. That is incredible. Now, what I'm going to do now is take the skillet, put a little oil in the skillet. See the oil? Got to have quite a bit in there because what happens is you want it nice and crispy. Get everything and bring it over here. Look at God. Bring everything over here. Let it sit, kind of rest for just a minute. I always like mine to kind of rest so it can kind of marinate, just get involved with one another. No need to rush. You know, life is not a rough, a rush. Life is just to marinate, take your time, do what you have to do, but be about your business. Okay, because that's very important. And then if you're going to do anything, babies, do it right, for God's sake. So sit back, sit down, and say, now, did I do it right? Okay, think about it. And before you do it, think about it. Marinate on it. Like, am I smiling today? Am I treating somebody right today? Am I being fair today? See? That's, see the little bubbles in it? That's because he's thinking. Trying to get itself together to make sure that everything is right and fair. You know? Not being puffed up. Not thinking that they know everything. But got a little bubbles in it because life is not perfect. It's just what you call life. So that's why you got little bubbles in your life. The trials, the tribulations in your life. That's why the bubbles, they're your bubble. How about that? They're your bubbles to make you think about doing the right thing. They're your bubbles to make you know you have to treat everybody's right, everybody right because you are not perfect. Not to always find fault of other people. Look at the bubbles in your life. See what I'm saying? All righty then. That looks good to me. Hopefully this is hot enough. Okay? Getting ready to get what we need. Get what we need out of life. Put him in there. Put her in there. Get what you need out of life, baby. And enjoy life. See? 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 Look at God. See? 
I'm trying to get it as perfect as I can. But since we are human, it is what it is. We're not perfect people. We're just human. Are you ready for life? Because if not, you're getting this hot oil, baby. You'll think about it. Okay? And the world has nothing really to really promise you. But you have it to promise you. How about that? You get out what you put in. See? Now, I'm getting ready to turn this over to see what it's all about. Look at God. Time for her to turn over now. See? See the crispy ends of it? See? I put it in because I wanted the crispiness. Same thing with life. You don't put anything in, you're not going to get anything out of it. How about that? Because the world doesn't promise you nothing. You promise you promise it to yourself to be the best that you can be. You'll be all right. You'll be okay. What you call life. See the bubbles. Just remember you have bubbles. Don't tell anybody. See? Doesn't it look good? Just like this. Ta-da! That's crispy and good. And as always... Thank you for cooking with Miss Eve.